Many ancient civilizations that once existed on our land participated in various wars and battles. This is evidenced by weapons discovered by archaeologists and records in ancient papyruses, rock paintings, etc. However, not all civilizations were hostile. Some were peaceful and did not even hear about the war. I will tell you about one of these civilizations in this video. And I will also tell you about the secret of jade humanoids, show you an amazing reservoir, one and a half thousand years old, the longest sword of the 7th century, and something else. Stay with us. Hi, friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Kailash Temple in fact, the Kailash temple is a piece of rock from which everything superfluous was skillfully chopped off, but how skillfully they did it! Construction was carried out from top to bottom, and there was no need for scaffolding. Initially, three trenches had, were cut in the rock in the form of the letter P, and the rock was systematically extracted. As a result, more than 200,000 tons of stone were removed from the makeshift quarry. The construction of Kailash lasted more than 150 years. More than 7,000 people participated in the process of its construction. The building occupies an area twice the area of the Parthenon in Athens and almost twice its height. As a result, the built temple ended up in in the center of a courtyard carved into the rock, 58 meters long and 51 meters wide. The length of the Kailash temple itself is 55 meters, the width is 36 meters, and the height is 33 meters. The area occupied by the surface is approximately 2,000 square meters. Civilization that did not know war during aerial photography of the northern central Peruvian coast, scientists saw mounds that stood out among the sands and had regular shapes. Wasting no time, they decided to explore this area and not in the vain, as it turned out. During excavations, they discovered the ruins of an ancient city in which a civilization unknown to science lived at that time. During further research, scientists found out that this is a city of Carol, more than 3,500 years old. We also managed to find out that the civilization that lived in the city called itself Norte Chico, and as it turned out a little later, it belonged to the late Archaic period and was before the surrounding culture. In general, it was a unique civilization, because according to the concepts of scientists, if a civilization does not have ceramics, then it means that this civilization could not build cities. But the people of Norde Checo, as it turned out, did very well without ceramics. Everything they needed was made from natural materials, such as spoons made of wood, plates made from gourds, and large dishes made from stones. Houses were built from processed stone. The writing of the Karali people was unusual. These are not hierarchical and symbols familiar to us, but knotted letters, quipo. They wrote down all their knowledge in the hope that one day their descendants would be able to read it, but alas, this civilization disappeared a long time ago, and with it, those who could read not letters disappeared, not having had time to pass on their skills in reading this letter to their descendants. The Karali people used irrigation canals to grow their crops, and due to the fact that they were filled with the melt waters of the Andes, this allowed them to grow grow crops without problems even during a dry climate. They grew mainly beans, potatoes, corn, and even cotton. And the fact that this civilization turned out to be the most peaceful of all ever discovered is evidenced by the fact that during the excavations, archaeologists could not find a single weapon, even a hint. But scientists are mostly interested in where exactly the Karali came from and why they disappeared without a trace. They hope to find answers as they explore the city further. Reservoir 1,500 years old More than one generation of people continues to admire the skills of the ancient builders and the miracle of their engineering. Take at least the same pyramids in Egypt. Istanbul, as a successor of Constantinople, is filled with historical artifacts, among which ancient reservoirs are of particular interest to me. Just imagine an ancient city without the current plumbing and storage, but with an abundance of military and siege activities. The siege, in antiquity, always bore fruit for patient conquerors. But in Constantinople, 
this issue was resolved through a system of reservoirs and aqueducts. The most famous reservoir in, is in Istanbul is the Basilica Cistern, but it is far from the only one. The number of cisterns discovered in Istanbul, translated from Greek as a reservoir, is approaching 50. In addition to sieges, ancient people depended on grown food, and accordingly, drought was also one of the worst enemies. Such huge reservoirs of water made it possible to fight with it, for example. The Basilica Cistern could hold up to hundreds of thousands of tons of water. Internally, the walled is a huge palace with columns that were brought from different places. At the foot of two columns, you can find the heads of Medusa Gorgon, one of which lies upside down and the other sideways. Chant Berry Well the step well is located away from the tourist routes. Its depth is 30 meters. In the well, there are approximately 3,500 stairs made of ideal rectangular blocks. Earthquake resistant, built in the 9th century. According to local legend, white spirits created in one day. There are no quarries or traces of construction. Official purpose collection of groundwater. And now the questions that immediately arise when looking at this majestic structure stairs without railings. If people drag water, Water there, as the official story says, they would risk death. In addition, water tends to stagnate and becomes hazardous to health. The structure resembles a mine launcher. The standard depth of modern missile silos is 30 meters. Roman commemorative and battle mast. About 2,000 years ago, noble Roman families stuffed their wardrobes with wax masks of their male ancestors so that during funeral processions, actors could fill in the missing links in the genealogical chain. Scholars know about this strange custom from ancient sources, such as the Greek historian Polybius, although no such mask has survived. A deep reaction gave rise to the idea that the Romans could have had a very strong emotional attachment to these ancestral masks, which were cast during the life of these people. The these masks, called Imagus Majorium, pictures of ancestors, were made from beeswax, which may have been an expensive and rare material if it came from special distant sources. Wax in its properties resembles a living body and in a sense can serve as its replacement. A similar custom existed in Siberia among the Kanti and in Russia, where masks were put on at Maslanitsa, Kalendi, arranging processions. It is obvious that these are closely related customs. Among the finds of ancient Roman weapons, helmets with anthropomorphic masks found by archaeologists constitute a large group. Disputes about their appointment have been going on for a long time. This discussion was opened by the founder of Roman military archaeology, L. Lindenschmidt, who considered them combat. The opposite point of view was held by his opponent in this matter, O. Bendorf, who attributed them to part of the grave goods. The truce is most likely in the middle, but the religious component here is the main one. A masked warrior became like a god with the face sparkling divine in the sun, and most likely, this custom is connected with this. The Longest Sword of the 7th Century in 1971, at the so-called Sabarev settlement, found no later than the 9th century BC, and excavations of which have been carried out since the 1950s of the 20th century, a treasure trove of objects was found, which scientists date back to the 7th 6th centuries BC. This time, archaeologists were very lucky. Among the items found in the treasure was a bimetallic sword, which was immediately listed by specialists as unique. The sword consisted of an iron blade and a bronze hilt. A well-preserved iron blade had a diamond-shaped section. Its edges ran almost parallel along the entire length of the blade, gradually tapering at the combat end and forming a point, which as they would say now, was made in the shape of a spear, which provided an excellent piercing effect. The bronze handle consisted of a bar-shaped guard, a noble shank and a mushroom-shaped pommel. At the same time, the winding of the handle was imitated on the surface of the handle. The combination of a an iron blade and a bronze hilt led to the inclusion of the found sword in the group of bimetallic weapons that existed over a fairly west territory and were well known to archaeologists. Ancient image of a cyclist in the Panchavarnaswami temple, built 2,300 years ago, the traveler and explorer Praveen Mohan discovered an image of a cyclist. At first, scientists declared the best relief a fake during the restoration of 1920, but studies did not reveal signs of a remake, because the drawing is not carved, it protrudes, which indicates that it was made during the manufacture and processing of the column. Unknown city that stood for 5,000 years.
In France, experts from the National Institute for Preventive Archaeological Research, while carrying out excavations on the banks of Du River in the drag bourguin French Comte commune, discovered a settlement that arose in the Neolithic era and stood until the Gallo-Roman era. Large-scale excavations were carried out by order of the state in the Pierre de Brest quarry. They started in the fall of 2020. The study covered a vast area of 10 hectares. As a result, archaeologists discovered a previously unknown settlement and the found artifacts and burials indicate that people have permanently lived here for more than five millennia. The oldest finds date back to the early and middle Neolithic. In particular, burials of that time period have been excavated. The dead were placed in the graves in twos, laying them on their side in a bent position. The study of the discovered remains showed that the bodies of the deceased were specially prepared for burial. In particular, they were wrapped in something to give them the desired embryo position. During the excavations, the only tomb of the Bronze Age was discovered. The skeleton in it also lay on its side in a bent position. In addition, an Iron Age burial complex has been excavated. It consists of two monumental structures surrounded by moats. In the center was a cremation burial. According to experts, this complex was intended for the elite, in particular for outstanding warriors. Also, during the excavations, the remains of various structures were discovered, including artificially created reservoirs and wells, fragments of adobe buildings, numerous shards of ceramics, details of wooden products, including steers and seeds, which testifies to the conduct of agriculture. Excavations in the Kizol Necropolis The ancient necropolis of Kizol is located on the Kerch Peninsula near the village of Yakovenkovo. This necropolis is famous for the many monumental stone crypts dating back to the 1st century BC and 2nd century AD. Most of the crypts belong to noble people. The richer the deceased was, the larger and more elegant the his crypt was. Scientists believe that all burials belong to representatives of one Bosporan kingdom. With the help of volunteers from the Archaeology Fund, scientists have already been able to clear and study about 1,100 square meters of the necropolis. Several dozen burials were discovered and studied, as well as five ancient crypts. And now, the next excavations brought scientists another unique find in the form of an antique tombstone, on which the image of a rider on a horse has been preserved. The upper part of the slab was decorated with ornaments, and the lower part, unfortunately, has not been preserved. It is on the lower part that scientists believe that the epitaph was located, but alas, it will no longer be possible to find out this. Also, with the help of volunteers, scientists were able to cleanse the ancient crypt, in which about 12 buried were found. Inside the crypt, next to them were many objects, such as decorated dishes, a highly oxidized iron sword, a silver ring depicting a woman, a carnelian gem depicting a dog, and the mission silver denarius of 88 AD. The Secret of the Jade Humanoids In different countries, archaeologists managed to find ancient artifacts that amaze with their appearance. Ancient masters were able to create truly magnificent creations and from completely different natural materials. For some reason, ancient figurines mostly have images of unknown creatures and they are made of precious and semi-precious stones. Who exactly was depicted in these figurines by ancient craftsmen, scientists still cannot understand. Particular attention is drawn to the figurines which were made by Hongqin jade masters, more than 6,500 years ago. How they managed to process jade so subtly, what tools they used when turning it, remains a mystery to this day. These figures, or rather their appearance, has nothing to do with images of fairy tale characters, gods and other modern creatures. Then why were they made in the image and likeness? Almost all the figurines are depicted in a sitting position. Their body looks like a human, but their head does not. It has an oblong shape with several processes having different shapes. You follow almost immediately concluded that the craftsmen who made these figurines met with humanoids and created them in their image. So similar figures with such images were found all over the world at a great distance from each other. So it is very difficult to believe that the masters sought and fantasized the same way. It is clear that they all had the honor of seeing the aliens and thus decided to capture their appearance in figurines. Since there is no exact information about who exactly the masters depicted in figurines, the possibility that the ancient and saw aliens from other worlds cannot be ruled out. Subscribe to the channel if you liked the video and tell your friends about it. Thanks for your views. Bye everyone!